What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me. As you can see, I am not doing any sort of outdoor stuff today on my channel. I am going to be bringing you a little bit different content today. I am going to be installing some shelving. I converted my son's bedroom into an office space, as you can see here. Some nice desks and everything. And I just have that single 12 inch shelf at the top of this closet. Kind of useless because I'm not hanging clothes from here. And this is, I don't know, five feet from where the shelf is to the floor. Kind of a waste of space. So we're going to try to maximize our closet space in this house by installing some wire shelving. I picked this up from Home Depot. I got these six foot shelves. They're 16 inches deep, so I can put some pretty large items on there. It's a track system, so I can adjust the height of the shelves depending on wherever I want to put them. So I can put close together shelves or far apart shelves. So that is going to be the plan. I'm going to install the track system and we're going to take down the old shelf and we'll have plenty of usable space in this house. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below if you got any questions. Let's get into it. Start with getting the old shelves out. These should just pop out. This is one solid piece. I gotta figure out how to get this out of here without scratching the walls too much. Then I slide in. There. That's kind of cool. See that? Kind of nifty. But only 12 inches deep, so not that great. Okay, there's a couple of hooks that hold this in place. Let's get a screwdriver or something. Okay, next we have to release the clothing bar here, which is held in. It looks like there's a little tab here, and it's held in on the sides. Yours might be different, but just kind of look and see if you can figure out. It looks like it just squeezes and pops up, and once that's free, there we go. Just gotta take that out with these screws on that bracket. There's gonna be some unpainted spot here, which isn't a big deal, it's in a closet. And we gotta remove these screws on this bracket. And then we'll be installing the top rail, which goes up there. You'll need minimal tools for this job. You'll need a tape measure to measure the dimensions of your closet to find out what size shelving you need. A level to make sure that your top rail is straight and an impact driver or and or drill would be very helpful just to screw in if you need to drill into the drywall you're gonna want a drill bit as well This is a common problem with things that have been painted over before. This is kind of stuck to the wall, but I don't want to pull the paint off with it. So we're going to take this scraper tool here, and we're just going to score along the back side here. And try to break that seal without having the paint peel completely off. You can see it's starting to come out. step before we start drilling into the wall we need to find out where our studs are so usually there's going to be a top brace that runs right along the edge there where the wall meets the ceiling that's a good solid mounting point if you're going to mount to the ceiling there's also going to be your studs 16 inches apart and you could just tap and wherever you hear hollow sound no stud Sounds a little more solid there. There's going to be a stud there. Hollow. Or, if you have a rare earth magnet such as this, just simply take it and start swiping in an S pattern like this. Look at that. It's stuck. There is a drywall screw right here. 
The drywall is screwed to the stud every 16 inches apart. So if we go over here, boom, there's another stud right there. You can hear it. So there's my DIY dad top tip for you today. So what you can see here is that I got two 40 inch top rails instead of one long 80 inch. This is gonna be easier to install it, I think, and, and I could just maneuver it better. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap there in the middle. So what I just did is I just kind of shuffled them over slightly until they meet it up in the middle there. Never assume that your wall and your ceiling are straight and level. So what I did is I just preliminary marked off with a pencil where those screw holes are. I'm gonna set this one down for a minute and grab my level. And let it fall to the floor. Let's just double check level. It's not perfectly level. You can see that in the bubble. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but it's off by maybe a couple degrees. So if you're really picky, you can fix this so that way it's perfectly level where your ceiling might not be. There. That's level. I had to drop this almost a half inch from the center in order to make it level. So if you want your shelves to be level, make sure you check with a level. Don't just assume that your wall is straight. Before you get this mounted on the wall, we're just gonna test fit it. See that notch? Doesn't go that way, it goes this way. And this fits up underneath here like that. And it locks in place. Still level. I like to pre-drill the holes because we're going into a stud so I don't want the wood to split. It probably shouldn't but we'll just be safe. See how that kind of shifts a little bit, so that's why we have to recheck level just to make sure. And we're good there. And then we take our impact driver, we'll zip a couple screws in. They should be spaced every 16 inches apart, these screws. Perfect. That is seriously the hardest part about this whole project is just putting those six screws in. That's why I chose to do this track system because the rest is a breeze. These have to be placed every 24 inches apart. So we'll put one on the end. And you just kind of rock it in at an angle like this. And they'll kind of dangle a little bit until you actually get some weight on it. So once you get the shelf in, it'll all even out. And we'll put the last one in. And they just hang there. And then we put the brackets on. And those brackets will actually mount into those notches. These guys right here. And these come in different lengths depending on what length shelf you have. This is a 16 inch. They also come in 12 and 18 and 20, I think. So just count down from the top. So if we want our top shelf to be like somewhere up here, we'll go three down. And we'll just put another one all the way across and then our shelf clicks in to the top. There's a little notch back here where the wire secures. So the wire rack will actually hook onto the back there so it's secure. I'll get that set up. Now I opted for four vertical bars instead of three. I could have gotten away with three, but I just felt like four might have given it a little bit better stability. 
spaced 24 inches apart. I wanted two closer to the ends just to support some extra weight in case we need it. Now we just simply tilt this in and it'll hook. And I think it just rests on there. Yeah, that's it. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, thanks for watching.